Hello everyone. If you're like me, I've been using Miyuki Delica cylinder beads since I started beading a few years ago. And they were just more readily available in the bead shops that I went to. I've actually never seen a Toho Aiko in store. Um, however, I have seen them online, but they were always just way more expensive than the Miyuki Delica and I never really had a problem with the Miyuki Delica so I just kept going with them. Well, curiosity got the best of me and I wanted to see if they actually were that much better. I've been doing a lot of bezeling projects that use cylinder beads and I've been going through Delicas like crazy and I just kind of wanted to see if the Toho Aiko lived up to their reputation. So when Art Beads was having a sale, I picked up a few of the Toho Aikos just to give it a feel. And they come in little four gram packs, which you'll see later, as opposed to an eight gram tube of Delicas. And uh, to compare these two, I've made up some samples. Um, one of these is a Miyuki Delica. One of these is Toho Aiko. And we'll see if you guys can tell the difference. We'll tell you at the, in a little bit which one they are. So we do a flat peyote here, comparing the two. Let's see if you can get a good look. Now I use the same fire line and the same count for each of these samples, just so you could get a really good feel. All right, we'll look at the toggle tubes here. Both pretty good. I love cylinder beads. It's very relaxing. I kind of like exact stuff sometimes. Let's look at these rounds. So for this sample, if, if you guys are like me and do a lot of bezeling, you know, it, a lot of times we'll start out with a round of cylinder beads to get the bezel going. So this is just a round of 30 with an extra round of um, cylinders. And they both look kind of the same to me. The ones on the right look just, they seem to be a slightly bigger. I don't know if you guys can tell that, but it looks slightly bigger. Anyway, get your guesses in. If you guess that the Delica was on the left, you'd be correct. These are the Delicas and these are the Icos. I actually picked this color in particular because this is a one of their fiber optic colors. And look at that shine. That is crazy. I love that. I'm gonna probably pick up all the fiber optic colors that they have because those are just so fun. Um, but the main thing I noticed was the difference between these two toggle bars. Now, if I hold this to the side, you can see that it's not perfect. Like there is a little, there is a little wonkiness there. Is it pat, like, is it acceptable? Sure, absolutely. It's not gonna make or break a project, but there is some irregularity there as compared to this, which is just a straight up tube. Like, there's no irregularities. And honestly, because they're so precision cut, it was a dream to work with. To showcase the Igos, I just wanted to do a simple pair of earrings just so you guys could get the feel. So I didn't really embellish these very much, but here's another one of the fiber optic colors and look how much that shines. <laughs> that is crazy. That is crazy. I love that. And I just haven't seen anything even remotely like that in the Delica line. Maybe I'm wrong. I just haven't seen it, but wow, those really, really catch the eye. And here are another few colors of those cylinder, or the fiber optic, like this tea rose. But yes, these are the packets that they come in. They <laughs> seem super small. These are four grams. And like I said, I did kind of the math. On average, Miyuki's are 40 cents a gram, just about, depending on the color, of course. But the Toho's are about 90 cents a gram. 
and so that's an extreme price difference. I mean, that's more than double what they cost, but if you use cylinder beads a lot, depending on your application, I use them a lot in uh, bezeling, so I don't really go through, I mean, I use them a lot, but the bezels that I use don't use that many cylinder beads. It's like a base row and one extra. So if I wanted to go with these these Icos here, they would probably last me a good while. So we'll see. I'll keep you updated how long they last me. But a lot of people, when I'm looking online, they're like, you can't use these interchangeably. And I did notice that these seem to be just slightly larger somehow. I can't really... I guess they're not really, but it just seems like, maybe it's the color, but it just seemed, they seem bigger. And it's, it would just be a slight size difference, but they do seem a little bit bigger. So a lot of people say you can't use them interchangeably. So if you're gonna use Ico, you use Ico. If you use Delica, you use Delica. But just for an experiment, I did this mixed flat piece here. And I mean, it looks pretty good. Are they a little different? Yeah, but I'm not really getting any bumpiness. You can definitely tell like those fiber optic colors just stand out. Those are crazy. I love those. But I, if you're in a pinch, I think you can use them both together. I think that looked really cool. For my personal um, experiment I'm going to do over the next few days here, I've done these bead balls and this is a Laura McCabe design if you're wondering. I'll link her down below. She's like one of the coolest bead artists ever. But these are going to be on a necklace, but I've been using all Miyuki Delicas. These are the new colors that they came out with, but all Miyuki Delicas. And whenever I'm bezelies, there's six um, rivolies that I have to bezel and then join together. So when I'm joining them together here, no matter how hard I pull, they're still this little lump or little ridge here. And in her pictures, Laura's pictures, like there's no ridge. So I'm wondering if I use the Icos, if the ridge will go away, we'll see. I'll keep you guys updated on that. But um, yeah, if you guys have used these beads, let me know what you think, if, if it's worth the price or not. And I'll catch you guys next time.